Hi folks, welcome to another Stall 13 video. I thought this time, no, we're not going to talk about trucks later. I thought we'd talk about buying a used trailer. So many people buy used trailers because new ones are god awful expensive. The first thing that you want to do when you're looking for a used trailer is start off right here. How good is the jack? Does the jack, is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Are there safety chains? Are they any good? How about the hitch itself? Also, when you're having any kind of trailer, don't forget to have a lock on it. Very important. More trailers are stolen, not because they're great trailers, just because they might be the only trailer at a rodeo or a horse show or at a stables that doesn't have a hitch on it. So make sure that you get those locked. Check the, the shaft of your jack and the ball. Make sure that the front of the trailer is secure. Now, let's talk about rust. As you can see, this is an older trailer. It has a little bit of rust, but is it surface rust or can you like punch holes through it? See, this is still solid. This is just cosmetic rust. That means with some sandpaper, this can be sanded and this can be painted. If there's any type of chrome, check to make sure the chrome works. If there's air vents, do the air vents work? If it has windows, let's talk about running lights. Every single state has their own rules when it comes to head, uh, tail lights and running lights. Notice how this one doesn't have a lens on it, but does it work? You don't know till you plug a truck in, turn your uh, headlights on and see. So look at the lights. Then if you have an access door, there's an access door. Does the latch work properly? Does the door swing open? everything seems secure you're gonna put your best friend in here your horse so you want this to be good next let's go to the spare tire does it have a spare tire what kind of shape is a spare tire in is it even matching the same size as the tires that are on the trailer look at the tread depth see what kind of shape they're in and make sure that they are full of air next we go back to the back of the trailer let's talk about lights again are there lights? Are there high ones, low ones? Are there lights here? Do they have lights up above? Are there lights up here? Just exactly how do you know for sure unless you plug this in somewhere if there are lights at all on the trailer? Now, let's talk about the back of the trailer. Here's some more rusty areas. Once again, is this surface rust or is this literally like cancer and the metal isn't any good? This metal's okay here. If there is a sliding half door, this is a stock trailer. That means that this door slides open. If you lift up like this, will this door slide or is it completely closed off? And by the by, you really want these doors to have to put some muscle into it because in case this latch comes undone, you don't want this door swinging freely like your bathroom door. You want this take some effort and you want to make sure that once it latches and it's safe. Now, let's talk about this door. Does this door swing freely? Does it make noise? Now, on the inside of the trailer, there'll be a center gate. Same thing. Does this gate swing freely? Also, once you have this, will this door latch? And once it latches, can you rely on it? You may have four horses. You may have two horses that don't like each other. Maybe you're going on a camping trip where you have your supplies in front, your horses in the back. You always want your horses in the back of a trailer, folks, when you're trailing. So if there's any kind of emergency, you can get them out quickly. You don't want to put your horses in the front of a trailer and pack all your stuff back here. That's dangerous because if it's a life-threatening situation, how in the world are you going to get your horses out when you got stuff everywhere? The next thing, what breed of horse do you have? If you've got warm bloods or European horses or draft horses, how tall is this trailer? Is this trailer designed for American quarter horses and trail horses or can you put draft horses or warm bloods in here? Also, the length of the trailer, how long is it? How deep of a trailer do you have? Is it only 14 feet 
or is it 16 feet? How wide is the trailer? That makes a difference. If there are any interior lights, what kind of shape are they in? Do you have wires exposed, wires that don't go anywhere like what you have here? Obviously this trailer has some electrical issues. Then, the most important thing, the floor of the trailer. No floor, no trailer. No hoof, no horse. It's really the same. You've got to, that has rubber mats, you've got to pull these mats up and you want to see how solid your floor is. Especially if you have a wood floor. Well, this is just the very basics of shopping for a used trailer. Just because someone says it's a good deal doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's a good deal. You really have to check trailers out, especially used ones. And you know, when you order a new trailer or you're buying a new trailer off the lot, it doesn't hurt to check into that either. This has been another stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and take care of your horses.